Okay, here we go. All right, this is my project. I'm Jack McGuire. I'm a student at Texas Tech. I'm here with Zach and Christian. And today we're going to be talking about how uh, working out can affect your mental health while being a student at Texas Tech. So what benefits or drawbacks have you guys seen from working out? Um, so working out, like growing up, if I ever was like sad or like like mentally deprived, uh, the gym was always like my getaway place. I guess when I put my headphones in and start listening to music, like the silence is really just like, it's really loud, but like whenever I'm in the gym, it like, it's a good silence that it's just like me, myself, and then the weights. And you know, like being in college, you get like really stressed and you get very like, like overwhelmed with all the school and like, like all the social and everything. And you know, like being able to like take like an hour and a half out of your day to go to the gym and then maybe like eat well three times a day, like it just like it can really like strengthen or like weaken your mental health. Christian, what do you think? Um, it helps me with my self esteem because I had a low self esteem before going, and then as I started to go more and more, uh, working out more and more, I started being a lot more comfortable with myself and comfortable with being myself around people. Um, and definitely help me uh, stay disciplined in doing like right things, like eating well, um, like knowing what I have to do that's right and what's wrong, and just help me out with that. Yeah, I think the gym has been a very important place for me. You know, I, uh, as they both said, it's a very good mental de-stressor. You know, it kind of keeps your your day in balance and keeps you centered down with something that you know you go back to every single day. You know, you do a certain amount of sets, you do a certain amount of reps, and that's pretty irregular in college, you know, every day is kind of different and crazy. So, especially because we were all pledging a fraternity and uh, things just got kind of crazy. And so that was a really good place to, you know, de-stress and uh, decompress for a while and uh, take care of things. And one of the statistics that I have, I went to the rec and I polled people and 17 out of 20 people said that their day is better off when they work out. And uh, what do you think a day would like, how do you think a, your day would be lesser impacted if you didn't work out? Like, I feel like, I feel, I feel like, like working out for me like is like kind of like one of the first things I do during the day because it makes me feel successful like with how I've started my day, and so like I feel like just like waking up and like not not like not like thinking about the gym, not going to like do some physical activity. Now that I'm out of football because I'm in college, like not doing any like physical activity, I feel like would just be really weird to be like not getting up and like going to push myself for something better every day. Yeah, kind of, kind of similar to what uh, Zach was saying. Um, it, it makes me feel like I had like a good, like a productive day. In days when I don't go to the gym, I just feel lazy, and I feel like um, I, I, I just feel like I, I should have or I could have, and it just makes me kind of reflect. Um, and I just I don't like feeling lazy. Like, yeah, I think it's it's i I've definitely struggled with you know. Uh, wanting always wanting to go to the gym but i think it's also important to let your body rest and stuff but i definitely agree you know um i don't like not going to the gym i feel like it takes a piece out of my day that i really enjoy and look forward to and i just feel like you know i'm not the same without it and then so my next question was how do you think caffeine has impacted your mental health in a positive or a negative connotation i'll speak for myself i love caffeine i drink <laughs> Uh, pre-workout before the gym um, and it's great you know I have a lot of ADHD so it really locks me in and centers me in but I know that it can be a cause of stress for a lot of people um, and it can cause them to crash and like have jitters and stuff so like when, when we all go work out together I'll take like a whole scoop of pre-workout and Christian will only drink like a Red Bull which get a Red Bull is like 50 ish milligrams caffeine mine's like three or four hundred and so it just kind of varies and I wanted to see what you guys think about like taking caffeine as like a student athlete, I guess you could say. Um, uh, it definitely helps, but um, it helps to a certain extent. You can get very dependent on caffeine very fast. Um, you could probably get to like two to three energy drinks a day just drinking them as like, I guess, I guess it's your just like, your choice of beverage during like dinner, lunch, breakfast. But if you know and you use caffeine correctly and you don't abuse caffeine and you use it when it's needed, I feel like caffeine is a very positive thing instead of a negative thing. It just all depends how you use it to its positives and to its negatives. 
I think definitely if you take advantage of it, like it can become a problem and be a bad thing. But like for me, I've never really had a problem with caffeine. I never really like felt like I needed it. Um, I know you guys might know, but like I'll have like a cup of coffee in the morning, and then sometimes that's like that's all the caffeine I need for the whole day. Like, it'll just carry me through. Um, but sometimes it, it definitely it does help. Like if you're when I'm about to go work out or even just do anything and I just have like no energy, just having a quick like um, energy drink or just like a cup of coffee or something like that uh, helps give you a little boost that I need to just you know, get it done, whatever it is. Okay, and then my last question that we were gonna go over um, is what would you say to someone that might not be interested in the gym or might not be working out because of Texas Tech and they're really struggling? with like their mental health and like how they feel and like look in their body like what do you think is a good way to integrate a more healthy lifestyle into their daily life? Um, I guess just like the biggest thing is just like try it because everyone's scared of getting like of like going to the gym getting embarrassed because you know it's their first time but like everyone that would like every every person that they're scared of that they think would embarrass them like all had their first day in the gym too. It's just whether or not, like, they did it when they were 12, they did it when they were 16, they did it when they were 30. Like, a lot of people are nervous uh, not going into the gym because, you know, they think, they think they're going to feel singled out. They think they're not going to understand what's going on. And I feel like, like, a way we can help, like, you can help someone, like a friend or something, is, like, you just can, like, take them to the gym and, like, walk them through stuff. Because, like, once you get hooked on the gym... It really helps you out with a lot of like a lot of like physical and mental needs, as we were talking about, and that's kind of just what I think like a gym could do for someone that's never gone to it. Yeah, I feel like there's not a lot of, or even like no cons to go to the gym, um, and and I would say the same thing. Just try it, um, and I mean, even even with like being just physical, like doing physical activity is what. Uh, can also help with all of like mental health and uh, you know being confident in yourself. You, like you don't have to go to the gym two hours, six days a week. You can also just you know go run around the park or just you know do do stuff in your own room to kind of start getting yourself into it, getting used to working out, and then eventually you know go to the gym and start doing like heavy lifting or even just stay where you are. Um, but I think just doing something. Um, instead of nothing is always always better um, and like when I first started working out in the gym uh, it was scary and it was like intimidating but I came to find like pretty pretty much like everyone you find at the gym um, is very like understanding and very very compassionate towards people starting out because uh, like Zach said they, they were once there too and you know once I got comfortable to ask people for help, every person I did ask for help was 100% willing to help me, and to to walk me through it, and you know, teach me form, like go do this, do this, and uh, it's always it, the it's biggest, always scariest welcome. guys in the gym that are the nicest yeah. and will help you out the most. Yeah. Which I think there's a lot of kind of negative connotation behind the gym that like guys are gonna like roid rage out on you and whatnot. But I've really only had positive experiences with those guys that are huge and. So yeah, those are all the questions that I have for today, and so we'll see you guys next time.